and uh, therefore the next Prime Minister of New Zealand. Uh, I can also confirm that uh, as at the time nominations closed at nine o'clock this morning, uh, I was the only nominee for that role. Uh, I set out when Jacinda Ardern announced her resignation uh, that I would play my role uh, in working with the Labour team in Parliament uh, to ensure that we strove to reach a consensus about who was best to lead Labour and therefore New Zealand forward. Uh, and I am absolutely humbled and honoured uh, that in those conversations I have had incredibly strong support uh, for my, from my caucus colleagues, my Labour team, uh, and that that consensus has emerged and they have indicated uh, that they will support me uh, to be the party's next leader and therefore the next Prime Minister. Uh, there is still a bit uh, to go in this process. There is still a meeting tomorrow and a vote. Uh, and I don't want to get too far ahead of that. I want to respect the fact that my colleagues deserve the opportunity to get together uh, and to confirm that decision before we start to get too far ahead in the process. Uh, I do uh, want to thank them for the way the process has been handled. I think we're an incredibly strong team. Uh, we've uh, gone through this process with unity uh, and we'll continue to do that. Uh, I feel really fortunate to be working with such an amazing group of people uh, who have a real commitment to the service of the people of New Zealand, a real passion for our country, one that I share. Uh, I'm incredibly optimistic about New Zealand's future. Uh, I'm really looking forward to the job. I'm feeling energised and enthusiastic uh, and I'm looking forward to getting into the work. So uh, I do want to, uh, to thank the people of New Zealand as well uh, for their patience during this process. I acknowledge that the resignation of a Prime Minister is a big thing uh, and I can pledge to them uh, that they will have my absolute dedication and devotion uh, in the coming weeks and months uh, as I get into the new role. Can you win the next election? Oh, Gina. How does the Prime look, it's a big day for a boy from the hut. Uh, and uh, look, I'm, I'm really honoured and humbled uh, by uh, the, the support that my colleagues have shown towards me. Uh, it's an enormous privilege. It's an, also an enormous responsibility. Uh, and the weight of that responsibility uh, is still sinking in. Uh, but I absolutely take that very seriously and, I, and I'm really looking forward to it. What are your priorities and biggest challenges as you take this on? Look, I'm going, to, uh, I'm, I'm going to avoid comment on uh, you know, positions or policy today. Uh, I'm not commenting on those things today. Uh, the process isn't yet finished. Uh, I've not yet been confirmed as the leader or as the Prime Minister. Uh, and you know, we, we'll get into those things in due course. Can you win the election? Yes. 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 What, how, what, uh, look, we'll set out a bit more about that once we've actually got a, you know, a result and, um, and you can hear, you'll expect to hear a lot more from us tomorrow. Um, for today, uh, you know, I've, I've, I absolutely acknowledge that um, I've had a lot of support from my colleagues. I'm really humbled by that. Uh, I'm not going to get ahead of the process further by getting into, uh, you know, conversations that we yet to have. Who's going who's to be your deputy? Who's going to be your deputy? Sorry. Uh, look, I'm not going to get into comments on any other positions today. Again, um, as we always have done in the past, uh, there are further conversations that the Labour team needs to happen. Did you offer? Uh, did you offer? Why do you think uh, look, I, I've uh, thoroughly enjoyed being a minister in Jacinda Ardern's government. Uh, I think the New Zealand public have seen the work that I have done. Uh, I've, uh, you know dealt with some challenging situations uh, over the last uh, five and a half years, the last couple of years particularly. Uh, and I'll, you know, uh, I'm a human being. Uh, I'll make the odd mistake from time to time. I try and own the mistakes that I make. Uh, I don't pretend to be someone that I'm not. I've never done that in the past and I don't intend to start J doing Jacinda, that now. Jacinda, I'd, Jacinda, I'd... There's a couple of mistakes you haven't actually owned. Talking about um, one of the Muslim cases and also Charlotte Ballas. Well, I, th I think in both of those cases, um, I would argue in, in, in one case, actually the mistake that I'm being asked to own are mistakes made by others. Many of the claims made around the Northland case were claims made by other people and not by me. Um, in terms of the Charlotte Ballas case, I've 
uh, apologised to her, and as far as she's concerned, the matter is closed. And I respect that, and I don't intend to make did, further comment did, on did that either. Jacinda Ardern had talked about Jacinda Ardern had talked about a reshuffle that was coming. How much of that was already in place, or are you going to put your own spin on this reshuffle and assign people as you see fit? Uh, look, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to comment on positions today, but of course uh, there is a reshuffle coming. There's a reshuffle that's now a necessity, um, and so uh, I'll work through that with my colleagues well, over the coming days. Can you talk us through the events of the last 36 hours? What did you? How did you win the position over your colleagues? Did you have to offer things to your colleagues to get the position? No. Who did you talk to about making this decision? Uh, look, I had a lot of conversations with my parliamentary colleagues. Um, as I indicated uh, a couple of days ago, it feels a lot longer actually, but a couple of days ago, um, I really was committed to striving to reach a consensus and to making sure that that unity uh, and that focus uh, on providing strong leadership for New Zealand stayed in place, uh, and it absolutely has. Yeah. How would it affect uh, the Prime Minister and John Robertson have both said that um, just don't have enough energy left to give the job a good tilt, but you do? Uh, look, those are matters for them. Um, I've had a, a good summer break. I've, uh, I've um, absolutely come back energised and refreshed and ready to get into it. Um, and, uh, you know, look, I, uh, I, I don't think that Grant Robertson was saying that he doesn't have energy for the job that he has now. I think what he said is that um, he, he didn't want to step up to be Prime Minister, and that's a decision for him. And so what's the difference between minister? you and Christopher Mike? Uh, look, the public can judge that. And what about you and Jacinda Ardern? Uh, look, I'm a, I'm a politician. I love my job, um, and I'm really passionate about it. It's incredibly, it's, an, it's a massive honour um, to have this opportunity to be Prime Minister. Yeah. Do you understand your work? Can you tell us a little bit about yourself? What do you do when you're not at work? Yeah, sure. I'm, I'm a, a, a boy from the hut. I grew up in the hut. Um, my parents came from relatively humble beginnings and worked really hard to provide a good life for my brother and I. And my commitment in politics is to make sure that we provide opportunities for all Kiwis who want to work hard to be able to work hard and get ahead and provide a better life for themselves and for their families. Um, I like to cycle. Uh, I like to garden. Um, I, I like to be outdoors where I can. Uh, I like to DIY. Um, maybe I don't have the best fashion sense in Parliament. Um, I'd say that the people making those comments probably aren't standing near mirrors when they do. But, um, you know, I, I am who I am. You know... Uh, yes, I think there has been an escalation in vitriol, and I want to acknowledge um, that uh, some politicians have been the subject of that more than others. Uh, and our current Prime Minister, Jacinda Ardern, uh, has absolutely been uh, on the receiving end of some absolutely intolerable and unacceptable behaviour. Uh, look, I accept when I put my name forward for this job that I open myself up to a lot of scrutiny uh, and a lot of criticism. I go into this job with my eyes wide open of knowing what I've, uh, what I've stepped into. Is there anything, is there anything that you want to get off your chest, skeletons in the uh, Look, I'm a human being, um, and, and with all human beings, there'll be, uh, no one's perfect, um, and uh, you know, I, I don't pretend to be. You're known around... What differences does it make for leadership role as opposed to your predecessor? Look, I think people can judge that in time. Uh, Jacinda Ardern has been an incredible Prime Minister for New Zealand. She was the leader that we needed at the time that we needed it. Uh, I look at the challenges that Jacinda led us through, whether it was a terrorist attack, a volcanic eruption, uh, several natural disasters, a global pandemic that disrupted our day-to-day -day lives more than any other event, I think, that any of us have experienced in our lifetimes. Um, Jacinda provided, you know, calm, stable, reassuring leadership, which I hope to continue to do. We are different people, though, um, and I'm sure that people will see that. You're known around... Do you think that you expect to see a change in the leadership? I mean, is that um, position solid, or is this yeah, look, the place at, to go? And also, will you keep Grant Robertson on as Prime Minister? As I said, uh, I'm, I'm not going to make comments on other positions today. You're known around Parliament. You're known... Are you not prepared to be too a political animal for this job? No. You're known around... Look, I'll make one exception, uh, which is to say, yes, absolutely. If Grant, you know, um, Grant Robertson's indicated he's happy to continue in that role, I absolutely intend to, to, to follow through that. Now, I know that that's going to open up a whole lot of other questions for you about who, who's staying in other roles and all those sorts of things, and I'm not getting into that. You're known around Parliament is you're known around Parliament is chippy. You get the advantage of standing right beside me and having the loudest voice. So <laughs> it's a tactical decision. Yeah. You're known around Parliament as chippy. Are you wanting to be known as Prime Minister Chippy? Oh, people, people will call me what they'll call me. Have you had a pitch? moment and that you've never gone for the leadership before or so and, and 
ambitions for it and then suddenly you wake up one day and you're about to become the Prime Minister from, from nowhere? Well, there have been a few of those moments actually uh, in the last uh, in the last sort of 48 hours or so. There was a particular moment yesterday actually where I got a couple of relatively important messages just as the door to the plane was closing and I had to then sit on the plane for the next 40 minutes before I could return any of those messages. So, um, and during that time, uh, you know, a few things sunk in for me. So, um, yes, yes, until I could reply to that, yeah. 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 So that was it's been it's been an interesting couple of days. Yeah. Uh, look, I'm not going to get into all the details of that, but they were significant messages in the process. Yeah. Labour has an incredible Maori team. Uh, I'm really proud of them. I'm really proud to work alongside them. They'll continue to play a really pivotal role in our government, as they as they have done in the last five and a half years. How would you, um, how would you describe your approach to style? I, I like to think I'm pretty upfront and pretty straight with people. Um, I like to think I'm pretty decisive, uh, and that I can get things done. Are you going to run a clean campaign? Yes. Uh, and accidentally, but yes, absolutely. Grant Robertson's a great friend of mine. He's a really important member of our team. I respect that he decided uh, of his own volition that he didn't want to put his hand up for the job. Um, I'm happy to speak for myself. He can speak for himself. Are you concerned that there are people in the Labour caucus who want to finish that job? No, absolutely not. Um, the, the feedback that I have had from all of Labour's MPs over the last 24 to 48 hours has been an incredible amount of support for me to do the job. Uh, like I said, I, I think I'm relatively upfront, uh, relatively inclusive. Uh, people uh, won't won't go to won't won't die wondering what I think. Um, and uh, but I think you know we, I've got an amazing team to work with, and I intend to absolutely make the most of that. Yeah, look, um, it, it is, a, it is, like I said, it's a, it's a big day for a boy from the hut. Um, and I'm, I'm really humbled and, and really proud to be taking this on. Um, it is the biggest responsibility and the biggest privilege of my life. And, uh, um, you know, all of the experiences that I've had through my life have contributed to this point, and some pretty amazing people as well. Um, I want to acknowledge when you put your name forward in politics for a position like this, uh, you do so with an enormous network of support. I've had amazing support uh, throughout my life from my family, um, from the people around me, um, from my work colleagues, from the people who have worked with me uh, here at Parliament. Uh, I wouldn't be here without all of the support that they have given me. As I said, I'm not getting into policy discussions today. If you, if Uh, I don't really believe in destiny in politics. Um, I actually believe in hard work. And, uh, you know, I've, I've contributed as much as I possibly can in the time that I have been in public life. Um, and I'm going to continue to do that. Having said that, um, you know, I've also always resolved to be a member of my team. And I've always endeavoured to support, uh, you know, support the team in every way that I can. If you lose the election, will you stay on as opposition leader? Uh, look... I don't intend to lose. Do you have any political regrets? Uh, look, I believe in looking forward. Of course, if I sat down and, and thought through, there'll be there'll be mistakes. There'll be things that I would do differently if given a, you know a second opportunity to do them again differently. But you have to keep you have to keep moving forward. Sorry, Did you notice yeah. Someone yeah. A hard worker. Um, and someone that's absolutely committed to leaving New Zealand in a better shape than I found it. And just, have you had any conversations with Jacinda Ardern over the last 24 hours, and are there any details that you can share with us? Uh, yeah, I, I mean, it's, since the result was clear, of course I've had uh, conversations with her. Uh, we'll be sitting down uh, fairly shortly uh, just to work through the next steps from here, because there's some logistics that we've got to get through, and, and in many cases we have to get through those together, um, because there's a relatively critical thing that she has to do uh, before I can do the next thing that I need to do. Yeah. 
Yes, I, I've had a, a lot of messages uh, from, from my home constituency. I've been really humbled by that. I think they're, uh, they're proud to have their, their, the first PM from, from the hut for many generations. I think Walter Nash was the last one. Uh, and so um, I've been, you know, really, really, um, really just warmed uh, by the level of support that I've had from my local people. I've had a conversation with Anthony Albanese. Uh, it's been great to be able to talk to him. Um, I'm looking forward to catching up with him, I hope, you know, in person fairly soon. A uh, few things to get through again before that happens. Um, uh, I, to be honest, there are so many messages uh, on my phone at the moment, I'm not sure. Uh, I couldn't give you a you know, definitive answer of, of who else I've heard from. Um, but, uh, but that clearly is a very important relationship for New Zealand. How did that, you heard of that conversation take place? Leading Labour through to the 2026 election, win or lose 2023. I intend to win in 2023. How did that conversation with Anthony Albanese take place? Sorry, did you reach out? Or? Uh, yeah, he, he, um, he gave me a call. Unfortunately, I missed his call. Um, but I then called him back and we had a good chat. You have a prior relationship here. Yeah? Labour brothers across the Tasman. Oh, of course, look, I, I think, you know, there is a Labour government in Australia, a Labour government in New Zealand. Of course, that means that we've got a, we're going to have a good working relationship. Uh, he's had a very solid working relationship with Jacinda Ardern. Um, I think from our conversation this morning, which was very warm, um, I'm absolutely sure that we're going to have a, a very good working relationship as well. You're never around Parliament with someone with a healthy sense of humour and a healthy sense of being able to laugh at yourself. Will you be able to keep those two qualities in as Prime Minister? Absolutely. Are you New Zealand's first ginger Prime Minister? I think it was about time we had a ginger at the top, but uh, I don't know. Yeah, I'm sure you could do the, uh, the research. Absolutely. Uh, like I said, I'm not getting into policy or positions today. Um, uh, and and I, in terms of the process, you know, um, um, Jacinda and I will work through that over the next sort of 24 to 48 hours, um, and then we'll set out a timetable. I accept people want to know when all those things are going to happen. We'll we'll get the details of that lockdown, and we'll let you know once we've done that. How would you I think New Zealand is an amazing country. We have so many opportunities here in New Zealand. There is nowhere else in the world uh, that I would want to live in that I would want to be raising my kids. Um, and uh, I acknowledge that at the moment we're going through some economic turbulence and we're going to have to navigate our way through that. I believe passionately that we can come out the other side of that in better shape than we went into it. Um, I'm really optimistic about our future. Um, and I'm really committed to leading New Zealand through that uh, in a way that is strong, stable and unifying. Are there going to be room, room, there going to be room for you all and, and just quiet that was directed towards Jacinda Ardern was surrounding the COVID-19 restrictions? If you were you sort of said to Lynch that every single one of those decisions, can you separate yourself from that? Yeah. Uh, yes, I can, but I also think um, that much of that came from a very small minority and that actually uh, uh, the, the vast bulk of New Zealanders are very proud of what we achieved as a country around COVID-19. We had one of the, the lowest rates of death from COVID-19 in the world. Uh, we actually had some of the fewest days of lockdown compared to other countries that we would compare ourselves to. That's a track record that I think New Zealanders as a whole should be proud of. Um, and so, uh, yes, there's a vocal minority that, who would like to, to rewrite history. But actually, uh, I think New Zealand as a country should be proud of what we achieved through COVID. Look, I acknowledge that the lockdown in Auckland was really hard. Uh, there are also a whole lot of other things at play now. We're, we're dealing with the economic aftermath of COVID-19, and then much of that is global. But we have a responsibility to lead New Zealand through that, and we absolutely will do that. And I, I'll talk more about that, um, but I'm not going to you know, talk more about that today. Is there a room for a woman MP in the leadership team, either on the ministerial side or the party side? Look, look I, I don't want to... Um, uh, speculate on positions. Uh, I, I've indicated I'm not going to talk about that today. I do want to acknowledge that, you know, for the first time in New Zealand's history, we have a gender balanced parliament. Um, women are going to occupy senior roles in our parliament. That is good. That is fantastic. We should be proud of that as a country. I, I'm not getting into that today. Well, there's one thing. Um, but. <laughs> And, uh, uh, you know, look, I think hopefully New Zealanders know me as someone who is upfront, uh, doesn't mind admitting when they've made a mistake, and can laugh at themselves. Chris, given you've um, done a press conference from the bush before, and we're outside again, can we expect all of your future press conferences to be outside? 
Well, on a beautiful Wellington day, as we've had so many beautiful Wellington days this summer, uh, maybe we could do a few more of these outside. And just lastly, what is one thing you would like to change in New uh, Look, I don't want to get into policy uh, no, issues no, 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 today, but look, I am, I am here to make sure that New Zealand, New Zealanders who go out there and work hard to make a better life for themselves and for their families can succeed in doing so, that their hard work can make sure that they have the opportunities to get ahead. Uh, that's what Labour has always stood for, uh, and it's absolutely why I'm in politics. Thanks, everybody.